Schofield soldier is recovering at the Queens Medical Center on Oahu tonight after falling down a steep ravine while at Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island. It happened at the Steaming Bluff lookout at the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. It took a daring rescue to bring him to safety. Manolo Morales has tonight's top story. The 32-year-old man went past this railing, something he's not supposed to do, and fell off. It's a 300-foot drop, but he landed on a narrow ledge about 70 feet down, which officials say probably saved his life. Officials at Volcanoes National Park say it was around 6.30 Wednesday night when the man fell off the Kilauea caldera at a popular lookout called Steaming Bluff. He apparently lost his footing, but it's not clear why. He didn't go all the way down the 300-foot drop thanks to a ledge that was only about two feet wide. Around 70 feet from the cliff edge. So uh, that's, it's uh, very remarkable and fortunate that he was able to, to land there and not another... 100 and 200 feet down. Park Rangers and Hawaii County firefighters, along with U.S. Army soldiers, came to the rescue. Hayes says the man who fell is a soldier visiting with other soldiers. The rescue was no easy task. Hayes says it was already dark and the man who fell was apparently unconscious because he wasn't calling out for help. So it took nearly three hours to find him. A chopper was called in to fly him out, but Hayes says it was too windy, so they had to pull the man up with ropes while he was secured to a board. This took setting up uh, uh, rope systems over the caldera edge and, uh, and deploying team members to go down and locate the individual and then bring down a Stokes litter, which is kind of like a, um, it's like a, a backboard with railings around the sides to protect the individual. Have you gotten any indication what made him go over that railing? I, I don't, but you know, visitors should never cross barriers, rope lines, any safety barrier from uh, dangerous areas. This is a, a, a good message to take away from this. Um, it's, it not only puts you in danger, but it puts our rescuers in danger should they have to go in and, and uh, do a search and rescue. It took about an hour to pull him out to safety. He was airlifted to Hilo Medical Center in critical condition. He is now at Queens Medical Center in stable condition. Park officials stress that no one should ever go past the railing because one can easily slip or the ground could collapse underneath you. From Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.